Hello guys and welcome. Today I will show you a horror movie called Jeepers Creepers. This movie starts off as two siblings Derry and Trish travel the country road. During the travel it is shown that these two people are traveling from college to home for spring break and they are siblings. As they drive through the Florida countryside, an old and rusty truck briefly and threateningly tailgates them but eventually passes them. After that both of them talk about a story about a prom couple who died on the same road 23 years earlier and that Trish always thought she one day would die on the same road. During the conversation, they see the same truck parked next to an abandoned church with the driver throwing what appears to be bodies wrapped in bloodstained sheets into a large pipe sticking out of the ground. While watching him the driver notices their car pass by then immediately returns to his truck and starts following them. He starts bumping and rear-ending them and successfully manages to run them off the road and drives off. Moments later after the attack, Derry convinces his older sister Trish to go back to the church and investigate. Once there, Derry and Trisha approach the pipe and Derry hears noises coming from within the pipe and decides to crawl inside to take a closer look while telling Trish to hold his feet. While doing that, he sees some rats and nervously starts to shake his feet which resulted in Trish letting go and him falling down. Once at the bottom, he notices a body wrapped in a sheet. When getting closer the body grabbed his leg which made Derry scared. Once he calmed down, he finds out it is a dying man with stitches running down his stomach. The dying man tried to tell him something but he couldn't hear it and later died. Derry then tells his sister he is trying to find a way out and warns his sister to let him know if she sees the old rusted truck. As he was trying to find a way out he notices that it is not only one body but hundreds of other bodies are sewn to the basement's walls and ceiling. After that revelation he also finds the bodies of Kenny and Darla, the prom couple that had gone missing 23 years prior. When Trish was waiting outside for Derry she notices a truck coming from afar and tries to leave but the car wouldn't start. When the truck came near, she realizes it is not the same truck when sighing in a relief. She immediately was startled by her brother who just got of the basement. After escaping, the two flee the scene and attempt to get to a diner to contact the police. During the ride Trish notices that Daryl has been traumatized by what he saw, she tries to ask him but he just kept quiet. When they arrive at a diner they notice the truck going back to the church. They quickly got in the diner and Trish yells for someone to call the police which the waitress agreed to do so. While waiting for her they're phoned by a strange woman who tells them they're in danger. She also tells Derry that what he found under the basement is called house of pain or at least that is what the guy in the old rusted truck likes to call it and he hunts people by smelling their scent and kills who fear him the most. She plays the song Jeepers Creepers on a record player and tells him to run if he hears that song anywhere else confused he ignored her warning and ended the call. Two police officers arrive and Derry tells them what he saw. While talking to them the waitress comes and tells them that there is some guy outside in the sibling's car looking for something. When they run out to check it out there is no one there. It turns out Derry's clothes is all over the ground and the waitress says the guy was smelling the clothes. The siblings then leave with the two police officers providing a security escort. As they travel, the police learn that the church has caught fire and any potential evidence has been destroyed. Then they hear something on the roof, one of the officers tries to check out what it is, but got pulled by something out of the window then the other officer was grabbed through the roof got his head chopped off. While Derry and Trish are talking Derry is confused how the old truck traveled so fast from the church to the diner, then he hears the Jeepers Creepers song on the radio and something hit their car so they both decide to get out to check it out. Trish then notices the officer's head and quickly gets in the car. When turning around they both see something getting out of the cop's car and grabbing the officer's head and smelling it. Witnessing the aftermath, Trish and Derry drive off in terror. The attacker then loads the officer's bodies into his truck. The pair stop at the house of an elderly and reclusive woman begging her to call the police. The woman complies until she notices the driver hiding in her yard as a scarecrow. She then tells the siblings that it is not her scarecrow and tries to shoot it but it jumped onto the roof at super speed then proceeds to kill the old lady, and reveals its inhuman face to Trish and Derry. It turns out it is not a human but some kind of creature. Trish and Derry then run and got in their car trying to drive away but the creature blocked their way by standing right in front of them. Trish tries to hit him with the car but the creature keeps dodging then Trish tricked him into thinking the car is stuck and when it got closer she hit him. Trish repeatedly runs the driver over with her car but is left horrified as she sees a giant wing tear through its trench coat and flap in the air. The pair leave and drive to a local police station, where they are approached by a psychic called Giselle Gay Hartman, the woman who called them at the diner. She tells them the true nature of their pursuer, 
It is an ancient creature, known as the creeper, which awakens every 23rd spring for 23 days to feast on human body parts, which then form parts of its own body. She also tells them that it dresses like a man and scare people to seek out its victims through fear, and by smelling the fear it takes which body part it wants and from Trish and Derry it has found something it likes. The wounded creeper arrives at the police station, and cuts off the power while they were talking to Psychic. The police officer then announces that it is a blackout and the police station is under lockdown. During a mandatory inmate check a police officer discovers the creature eating an inmate and tries shooting but that didn't stop it. While everybody is preparing for the blackout Giselle says that one of the siblings then will scream their last breath while the Jeepers Creepers song is playing in the background, but then Derry says they have already heard that song on the radio and they have escaped but the psychic says the song is not coming from a radio but an old phonograph. The psychic then tells the kids if they want to be alive they should follow her. The creeper then is swarmed by a bunch of police officers but kills a number of them and evades capture. Trapped in a dark hallway Giselle warns Trish and Derry that one of them will die a horrible death Derry demands to know who, and Giselle looks at Trish. The creeper finds them but spares Giselle before cornering Trish and Derry in an upstairs interrogation room. After sniffing and tasting them, the creeper throws Trish aside and chooses Derry. Trish offers her life for her brothers, but the creeper escapes out of a window and flies away with Derry. The next day Trish is picked up by her parents, and Giselle returns home in regret. In an abandoned factory, it is revealed that the creeper has removed the back of Derry's head and taken his eyes, while the Jeepers Creepers song is playing in the background from an old phonograph. 